the Pythagoras theorem is pretty simple to understand and fortunately a very important topic too. It deals only with right triangles like this one. Let the lengths of its sides be A, B and C. In this triangle, A squared plus B squared will equal C squared. This right here is called the Pythagoras theorem. The side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. The square of the hypotenuse is always equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. What kind of problems would we come across in our exams? We might be given a triangle with the lengths of two of its sides and one unknown. And using the Pythagoras theorem, we can easily find the length of that side. The unknown here is the hypotenuse. So 3 squared plus 4 squared will equal x squared. Solving this, we get the value of x as 5 units. Another example would be a right triangle like this with sides 5, y and 13. Using the Pythagoras theorem in this one, we can write 5 squared plus y squared equals 13 squared. And solving this, we get the value of y as 12. These examples were pretty easy to solve. But these two examples also tell us something very interesting. 3, 4 and 5 form a Pythagorean triple. A Pythagorean triple consists of three positive integers in which the sum of squares of two numbers is equal to the square of the third. In a similar way, 5, 12 and 13 also form a Pythagorean triple. These are two very commonly used Pythagorean triples. But there's something even more special here. If we multiply each of these numbers by 2, we get 6, 8 and 10. And this too will be a Pythagorean triple. Even if we multiply each of these numbers by 3, we get a Pythagorean triple. 9, 12 and 15. If we multiply each of these by 2, then 10, 24 and 26 also form a Pythagorean triple. So in your exam, if you are given a right triangle with the perpendicular sides as 9 and 12, you don't really have to solve anything. You should know that it's 15. If you have the hypotenuse as 26 and one side is 10, the third side has to be 24. But we need to be a little careful here. Let's say we have a triangle like this with sides 3, 4 and x. And we are asked to find the value of x. Do not assume x to be 5 units. Yes, we know it is a Pythagorean triple. But here we haven't been told that the triangle is right angled. x will be equal to 5 units only if the measure of angle B is 90 degrees.